My name is Frank Tomler. I'm a retired professor of the University of Pennsylvania. And I am interviewing today Eric Karl Schaub, Honorary Consul General of the Republic of Austria in Philadelphia. The first question, more, most important, where did you grow up? Harry, and what made you, made your youth sort of uh, in, in, uh, go into the direction of politics, law, and is this already in your youth? Is it already in your family? I grew up in northeastern Pennsylvania in Luzerne County, went to school there. And some of my earliest recollections were reading in the newspaper as a young boy about Austria. And many of the uh, people who were friends of mine and who were active in politics had a background in the then Austrian Empire. So Austria came early into my life. I'm proud to say I grew up in a town named Freeland. I was the black sheep who went to the University of Pennsylvania, and I'm glad I did. And that's where my career started. Class of 1946, and I uh, decided my father I was very fortunate, my parents. Uh, my father uh, had two jobs. He, he ran a uh, clothing manufacturing company, and he was also elected. Uh, he could do this legally. Was also uh, elected, believe it or not, uh, as Register of Wills of Luzerne County. And so in 1936, I helped uh, campaign for the reelection of Franklin Roosevelt. Tell me, uh, this is some sort in the, in the legal <laughs> profession. When did you start thinking of, of, of studying law? Was it a uh, pen? Was it, is, it, is it the background? I have or? to introduce another parent. My mother, who uh, uh, had a role, and she always respected lawyers, and she talked to me about it. She, what, her principal activity was as a soprano, first soprano, in... Uh, St. Luke's Lutheran Church in Freeland. So there was always music, good music, uh, in our home. Harry is a uh, retired counsel of the law firm of Montgomery McCracken. And it is interesting to, to follow Harry's career. Was there any bridge to, to law, or was it just an interest of you because you had heard about Austria earlier, uh, that you went over and, and, and wanted to do more. I think I would answer that complicated question by saying that uh, I ha had always an interest in politics and law, because there is a relationship. And I could go on from... Uh, uh, national law to international law because the uh, uh, relationships in your in Europe and and Asia, it was natural for me. I am just wondering, as an undergraduate in political science, certainly you are exposed to some extent to the political things of that time, around 1950. Did they recruit you already? In yes. The I now remember I recognized very early and uh, before I was a teenager that I had to do something to escape living in a small town in North 
eastern Pennsylvania. And many Pennsylvanians went through this process. So I was receptive to a career that would take me out of uh, uh, living in a small town in, in, of wonderful people, but uh, it was different. And so uh, I didn't even know that there was a reserve intelligence unit in the political science department. But I was well respected as a student. And Gary Tum, who was the instructor uh, of me in the quiz section, said, would I, said hey, Mr. Schaub, uh, could you join me after class? He made this announcement. And that was not the best way to do it uh, because of jealousies and so forth. But it happened and he said, we are forming a reserve unit and you have no military experience. So you are going, if you elect to join us, we will invite you and you will enlist in the reserves. I was accepted and became a private and then I, graduated and started Yale Law School, and fortunately, there was a Yale unit, so I transferred uh, from the Penn unit to the Yale unit. And then, uh, a year later, uh, maybe one quarter of these intelligence units were called to active duty, and I went off to Washington and we were in the uh, Pentagon, and uh, I, my expertise was then on Eastern Europe, and I what became the, this I've never written about, became the Yugoslav de desk officer. And uh, I Did had- Did you go to Yugoslavia? In the Pentagon. <laughs> Okay. I, I, I did not go to Yugoslavia yeah. until later. <laughs>